Welcome back to another video everybody. Today we're riding up the infamous Col de la Loz. We're climbing from the Courchevel La Pra side, heading through La Tanya on the undulating balcony road, heading towards Maribel and then to the start of what will be the last savage section of this climb. The Queen stage of the 2023 Tour de France. So we got about seven or eight k to go to the top of the Col de la Loz. We've come up the side the Tour de France is coming up, obviously. And uh, this is where it goes from road to like, well, narrow cycle path type of thing. And uh, it's pretty iconic. And it wasn't built, I don't think, until like uh, about a decade ago. It looks kind of steep, doesn't it? It looks kind of. It is steep. All right, give me a head start. Head start. <laughs> no, it's not. We're at 1,643 meters. We've got 661 left in the next 7k, an average grade of 10%, 20% max grade. Tops out 2,300 meters. So this is where we've come from Bozelle. Uh, up here and then across. And now. Um, so we go up all the hairpins, the switchbacks. We top out and then we try and find the airport, which is where it's going to finish. Now, I thought they were exaggerating about the gradient, but because this is like a man-made, like cycle path type of situation, they could do whatever they want. And man, it was steep in places. Really, really, really steep. <laughs> <laughs> Not even started yet. What was that bit? That was like 27%. Not even started. <sighs> Any saving grace is it flattens off <laughs> and it just goes again and again. And then you got one bit in the middle. It's like that, but for 2k. Going up there, man. Are we? Yeah. See the roads there. See it running along the balcony there. Oh yeah, yeah. Class. Mental, So we're on now one of the more sustained steep sections <laughs> as this e-bike goes past us. Um, but totally acceptable, I have to be honest, on a gradient like this, totally acceptable. Um, but as it was a sustained steep section, like we were seeing the most people succumbing to the gradient and having to like push their bikes up and over the top of this section. When we're looking back here, this actually plateaus like it, it, it's savage, it goes from like 20% to like 2 or 3% in a split second. And this year, this is exactly where we're going to be standing for the Tour de France the next day. So make sure you stay tuned for that video coming in the next few days. Oh. Uh. What a wait if this decides the tour. Eh? I mean, by the time this video goes out, we'll know who's won the tour probably. But it'd be a worthy winner if we get up this with a, without walking. <laughs> to the top it's brutal there's like sections of the climb where it's going like really steep like 20 25 percent easily around like corners and that's the thing when you build like a, it's not a road it's like a cycle path slash like small road when you build something like this 
there's no limits, no boundaries. You can do what, you know, roads, normal roads can't do. He's going That's well, it. he's going well. Yeah. He blew just to the last bit. Yeah. So going over the top of the Col de la Loz, topping out 2,300 meters, we have a very, very special view. And one of the most like instantly technical descents I think I've ever been on, because of the narrowness of the of the path, it doesn't look like it, but it is fairly narrow. We bombed down this section, which is instantly hairpin after hairpin. Um, and although the tarmac is super smooth, they have got the, some magnificent views, which are somewhat trying to distract you from the technical descent, which you have to try and stay focused on. And then we come up to a section that plateaus ever so slightly, it throws you into one or two little hairpins and then it straightens out and on the TV coverage if you've already seen of course the Tour de France stage about a week ago a couple of days ago there was all this talk about this one corner this right hander sharp sharp right hander which we're actually gonna see now in this clip where we come down this really straight steep section and AD knows the roads in front of me, he knows the corners come in, but it's somewhat it's somewhat deceptive because you can't actually see the bend because of this grass on the right until the very last second. And on the inside here they've actually put new tarmac down to hopefully give the riders a little bit of extra room on this bend. That's gonna be so fast and so sketchy that sharp right hander after such a fast straight section. Uh, we weren't going that fast, but like, those who want to win, they're going to be doing under K now, don't they? Easy into that sharp right hander. This is where the finish will be. This is the little road up to the airport. So you drop down on that descent there. It's going to be real sketchy, and then you take a sharp right and onto a little climb up to the airport. And this is where they're going to finish. Okay, I was all expecting this. We're actually on an airport runway. I saw much space. <laughs> Won't be like this though. It's <laughs> actually a blockhead win today. A blockhead win tomorrow. It's like fourteen percent. Genuinely, it's steep. And you turn onto it right at the bottom, down there. And I'm assuming the finish, so it's not here yet. It's all the way at the top. I wonder if there's a Strava segment on you. Chief. 